Max Verstappen raged at Drive to Survive's portrayal of him, I don't like it. Netflix's new series of Drive to Survive is on its way, with F1 fans around the world eagerly awaiting the behind-the-scenes insights from the 2021 season. Paul Martin, one of the show's two executive producers, told Insider that the show has turned F1 into a soap opera. He added this week, when we finished season one, I don't think we had any expectations. We hoped people were going to like it and were going to see it as a fresh take on this world. We certainly didn't set out to land it with a particular audience or particular demographic. But, you know, we just became acutely aware, particularly in the United States, that people were just talking about it and that the audience is there. One man who is notably absent in the latest series is the newly crowned world champion Max Verstappen. One reason for this could be the Dutchman's criticism of the series back in October. Verstappen suggested that the show created a false impression of the drivers, adding that he would rather speak to someone one-on-one -on -one to give his views. He said, I understand that it needs to be done to boost the popularity in America, but from my side as a driver, I don't like being part of it. The problem is they will always position you in a way they want, so whatever you say they will try to make you look reckless, or whatever fits the story of the series. So I never really liked that. I prefer to just have a one-on-one -on -one interview with the person who would like to know me. They position you in whatever fits the episode, and for me that never really works. You are interviewed and they use the words under different circumstances, so it never really fits, but fits the series. I don't think it was the real me. Verstappen feels a fake rivalry was created between himself and then Red Bull teammate Daniel Ricciardo, which culminated with the Australian moving to Renault in 2019. He added, they faked a few rivalries which don't really exist. So I decided to not be a part of it and did not give any more interviews after that because then there is nothing you can show. I am not really a dramatic show kind of person, I just want facts and real things to happen. Verstappen isn't the only one to criticize the series. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff said this week that he doesn't like the series because of the narrative it creates. The Austrian said he is surprised at the freedom granted to the makers of the documentary around the sport, describing it as scary. Wolf added, it's scary how much we let them in. You hate to see yourself in there. They create a spin to the narrative, they put scenes together that didn't happen. I guess you'd say as an insider, well that's different than how it was. But we're creating entertainment, and that is a new dimension of entertainment. In October, McLaren's Lando Norris said he is okay with being filmed for the show. He said, I guess I'm fine with it. You can choose a lot of things which almost go in and don't go in. I'm happy, I think it's a cool thing. Especially coming to America, Terry's so many people now into Formula One just because of watching Drive to Survive. I think I come across on it all right. I hope I don't come across in a bad way or an idiot or anything. I think they do a good job. I watch it every now and then. Not actually watch the whole thing, or even one episode. But from my side it's fine, I can't really speak on behalf of Max.